Hello and welcome to our tutorial about connecting your Wix e-commerce store to PTC Pay server. As you can see here on the screen, we have a detailed integration guide for you on our documentation page. So you can follow this video or also use the documentation to follow the step-by-step -step tutorial. So first of all, what do we need? You need to have a Wix account and an online store with a premium subscription. The premium subscription is needed to uh, use or to accept payments. You have to have a PTC Pay server uh, setup. We have one here. So this is our demo PTC Pay server store. And it's also available over a domain name. You can see here testing.ptcpayserver.tech We have set up an account and we have created the store and we also have already set up the wallet and connected it. Okay, so let's start with setting up uh, our payment service provider plugin in Wix. So we have our Wix uh, dashboard here. As you can see, we have different sites and we will uh, work on the Sato Skate site. So here I have already opened the editor for the Sato Skate site. So when you uh, select the site like this, then you have here the edit site button, which will bring you to the editor. So once you have done that, you first need to enable the developer mode. So click here and on turn on dev mode. Okay, now that's done. You can see on the left sidebar that we have a code section. And in this coding section, we have different um, areas. So like backend, public and service plugins. We will need the service plugin section and the backend section. So now to install a service plugin, we need to click on the plus sign here. We select the payment, start now, and we accept the terms. And here you enter your payment plugin name. Easiest would be that you enter the name exactly as I do now. So it's called PTC Pay, like this. Make sure you have the same upper and lowercase letters. So you can just copy and paste the whole code without any additional modifications. Okay, let's add and edit the code. Okay, you can see here it created some subdirectories and a BTC Pay config.js and the BTC Pay.js file. So now we need to go to our GitHub repository where you can copy the code for those files. But before we do that, we delete the existing example code in this file. So we selected the BTC Pay config jazz file here. Okay, now let's go to GitHub. Here you can see the documentation again, but we go into uh, backend. Okay, in backend you see you can see here the same subdirectories like in your Wix uh, editor. So click on that one, service plugins payment provider PTC pay. And here you can see the PTC pay config JS file. You can uh, mark the code like this, or you just click on copy raw file over here. It's much easier to do. Okay, so we copy the code. Now go back to your Wix editor, and below here in your editor field, we paste the code. Make once again sure you are on the PTC pay config. JS file. 
Okay, let's paste the code here. Fine. Now select the btcpay.js file. Here's also a lot of example code. You can just select all and then remove it. So now go back to our repository. We select the btcpay.js file. And once again, we click copy raw file over here. Go back to your Wix editor and paste the code here. Okay, that looks good. So we now have the two plugin files set up. What we will do now is we will add an HTTP functions uh, file here. This one is used for uh, making endpoints available so that our BTC Pay server can update the payment status. To do this, we click on the plus sign on backend and then we select Expose Site API. If you already made lots of uh, modifications or have some use case for it, you may already have that file. So in this case, you would not need to create it and you also likely have then some functions already in the code here. So you should not delete it like I do now because it's a new file. But if you have custom code already here, just keep it and add our code below that. But as I start out with the example, I just delete everything. Now going back to our Wix uh, repository, we can see we have the HTTP functions file here and we copy the code again. Then go back to the editor. By now you know the deal. It will. So, and paste the code. And we're good. Great. So, now what we need to do is to publish the site to make sure the plugin gets propagated. So, let's do just that. Hit publish. Okay, it did not work. Hit publish. Okay, you can see here. Okay, looks good. Done. No, we don't want to edit the mobile site. Cancel. Okay, now let's... We can visit the site. Okay, all is good. Okay, now basically we have set up the plugin and we now can go back to the dashboard where we have um, our Sato Skate uh, store selected at the top. And now we can go to settings, then to accept payments. And it seems our BTC pay server is not showing up here, so make a a hard reload. So it seems sometimes the caching is interfering and not showing up the configuration form here. So let's try to go back to the editor. Hit publish again. Let's view the site. So we have set up this custom domain for it. Okay, maybe hit save to be sure. Okay, let's try if this worked now. So go back to settings and do a hard refresh by holding the shift button and clicking on refresh. Yes, and now it worked and it shows up. Great. So now click on connect. It shows you the, the configuration form. 
So in BTC Pay Server URL, you need to add the URL where your BTC Pay Server is hosted. So in our case, you can see it here. It's on uh, testing dot btc bay dot tech so i copy that one okay then for the api key we need to go back to our uh, btc bay server we click on account manage account And here we click on API keys. So on the top right, we click on generate key. We give it the label. And now we need to add the permissions. If we just click the permissions like this, then we will create an API key for all the stores we have set up. And usually we don't want to do this. So for security reasons, we want only to have the API key for a specific store. So that's what we do here. We click on select specific store and we select Wix. So we need the view invoice permission. We need the create invoice permission. We need the modify invoices permission. We need to modify uh, stores webhooks permission. Then we need to have the view your stores permission. And at last for a maybe future upcoming functionality to do refunds, we select the create non-approved pull payments permission so you can look up all the permissions on our documentation if this was too quick for you when you have everything click on generate api key okay now the api key is shown here you double click and copy it we go back to our btc based settings form on wix we enter the API key and now we need the store ID. So go back to your BTC Pay server, make sure you have uh, the Wix store that you want to connect selected here. Then you go to settings and here you copy the store ID. You could also have copied it from the URL here, but this is much easier if you just double click and copy this one. So let's enter the store ID. Good. And now the last thing is we need to set up a webhook. The webhook um, is needed so that BTC Pay can update the order status on Wix as soon as a payment is confirmed. So to do that now, we go back um, to our uh, Wix uh, store on BTC Pay. On the left, on the settings, you can see webhooks here. You click that. You can see I already have example webhook here. It's just for me as a reminder on what to put here. But we will now create the right one. So depending on where you set up your store, your Go to your store front end and you copy the store URL. Now click on create webhook. And as the pay load URL, you enter that your store URL URL. But we now also need to add the endpoints pass. And for this, go to our documentation. And when you scroll down to where you configure the payment service provider, you scroll down until you see the documentation for the webhook. Okay. 
And here you can see I have the example you saw previously in my uh, BTC base server store. So we don't copy the example.com part, but from functions to BTC pay transaction webhook. Okay. Now go back to the webhook. Make sure you have a slash after the domain name and paste the pass here. Okay. BTCP auto generated a password for us. Or well, it's it's called secret here, so you can view it and then copy it. And before you go back to your Wix store, make sure you click on add webhook so we save everything. Okay, you can see it worked already. And now go back to our Wix store and enter the report book secret to just copy it. Now make sure you click connect to save the settings. Okay, that's good. We don't want any fiat payment options, so we just close this. And now it's time to test our payment solution if we can pay with Bitcoin and if the order states get updated. So before I show you the store, I just check the store products to make sure we have a cheap product to buy. Okay, let's change the price to one euro here. Save. Okay, good. Now we check out our store. So let's see. Let's refresh. And this product should cost one euro. Okay. Add the product to the cart. Okay, view the cart. We go to checkout. Looks good. Click continue. Free shipping is always good. Continue. And now you can see here our payment option with BTC Pay. So I will open a lightning wallet on my phone and then we click place order and pay. So we now will get redirected to a BTC Pay server. Okay, here we have it. We want to pay with Lightning. And let's see if it works. So, okay. Scanning the code right now. The QR code. Hit pay. And it confirmed immediately. So now let's click return to Wix. Okay, great. And one last thing. We now will check if the order has arrived and if the order status has been updated. Yeah, great. You can see the payment is marked as paid. So the webhook callback from BTC Pay to Wix worked. And you can proceed with fulfilling your order. Okay, that's about it. Thank you for watching uh, the tutorial. Hopefully this video helped you to integrate Bitcoin payments into your Wix e-commerce site. If you have any questions, you can join our MetaMost and be sure to check out the Wix documentation on our documentation page.